Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to now talk about the Valorant Pass Charts 8.10 and it's not that big of an update if if you are a new player to Valorant. So let's just get right into it and basically the main thing is there will be a new progression update for basic training event. So basically though they have released an update to welcome oh, so the new players into the game. The, the, new sked, uh, uh, sorry, the new structure includes clearer missions and milestones to help you navigate the new play experience with a bit more guidance before you uh, uh, before your ranked climb. So first, the basic training event will appear similar to other events, allowing you to view your progress, understand your goals at each milestone, and complete them to earn, uh, to, to earn rewards to jumpstart your Valorant experience. If you have previously competed the welcome contract, you will not see the basic training events. Don't worry, you have already earned all these same rewards. If you are if you are partially completed the welcome contract, your pre your previously earned rewards will be reflected in the basic training event when it comes online. You'll be able to proceed through basic training and an X speed towards your battle pass. So, I don't really know what these, I, I guess, like, I don't know, like, what these new play experiences really looks like, obviously. I get all, all, all the rewards. It might be, I don't know, like a, uh, I'm guessing maybe, like, player cards. Maybe, uh, maybe, I, I, maybe towel cards as well. I don't think it'll be gun skins. I think it's most likely player cards, sprays even, title cards. It's most likely those. So it's kind of like what we mainly see on the battle pass, just minus the gun skins really. So it's kind of just like novelty stuff really. So not too bad, but I don't, I, I thought that, I'll be honest, I thought the basic training stuff was all right when I first started playing Valorant. So. I mean, it taught you the ways of Valorant. That's kind. Of, that's basically the most important thing. If it teaches you the ways of Valorant, so that's what that matters to me. But all right, interesting, interesting, uh, interesting choice there for Valorant. But to be fair, they can't really do big things because Mark Shanghai is happening, and I think they're also releasing a new map, I believe, or announcing a new map during the grand finals, which I'm definitely going to try and stream. So that'll be exciting. But yeah, that's really about it. And just bug fix and just for bugs fixes as well. Uh, fix an issue where shots it where shots fire immediately after after exiting uh, Cypher Spy Cam would bypass the weapon's rate animation and not deal damage. The weapon rate animation is now play for its full duration. And finally, fix issues where the timer of for Clove's pick me up could be restarted with uh, which would allow Clove to have more time than intended to activate the ability. And this, speaking of the playoffs as well, here's the playoff bracket for Miles Shanghai. I think first would be 100 Thieves versus Foot Esports, followed by Fnatic versus Gen G Esports. And then up here we have Paper X versus G2, then Edward Gaming versus Team Heretics. So now like in uh, guys to like, comment and subscribe, it, it would really help me, especially on this channel. I will try and stream much more uh, Mouse Chang High stuff when I have the when I have the time to, but it's just a bit difficult now with all, with what's been happening behind the scenes in my life. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye.